Today, we are returning to the Draftmaster series, doing some racing at Daytona. The 1980s cars are known for having no roof flaps and no restrictor plate. I think the primary goal is to keep the car on the ground because they will fill up very easily. For 20 laps, let's put it all on the line and try to survive. With this being an open setup race, I did not have a setup. Now, one of my Discord members, Terry, hooked me up. If you guys aren't in the Discord, jump on in, man. There's a link in the description. Race car has hit pit road and it's time to go at Daytona. Wait on the leader the green flag is waving oh we're gonna clear the bottom already this is perfect up to third gear i really got to get out of these gears good while i can guy behind me is gonna get a good draft the guys in front of me are pulling away a little bit up to fourth gear we'll see what we got going in that's our number one we're gonna go wide open here the leader has a pretty sizable lead up there something you don't see a lot of days on him but they're running him down these guys in front of me got away quick but we're just gonna reel him right back in with that draft that draft is so powerful pay attention to the mile per hour range already approaching 200 and 10 215 miles per hour just on lap number one now we are closing quick on that ninth position we're gonna get there i got help coming behind me he's all over me he's gonna come to my inside this may put me down to the 11th position i think we're gonna gain a couple spots here ahead of me as well somehow some way it's a clean race so far they're trying to freight train me on the inside the outside is not where you want to be stuck at you can see it's a very single foul train here ahead of me they're crashing behind me big crash behind me that took out a lot of them that took out nearly everyone one behind me. Oh, big one number one has happened on the racetrack, and we're still inside the top 10. So, I'll take it. Let's refocus on the leaders up here. We do have a lead change up front. I'm really trying to find my way around the Doritos machine. Car number four. I think I need to do it to his inside, but I just don't think he's going to open up the door. The outside is coming back. We have another new lead change up front, man. They're swapping it up every single turn. That's how competitive the racing truly is here at Daytona. I feel good on this outside. If I can get it moving, I am a little bit scared of popping that wall here on exit as the cars get tighter. You nearly seen it there in front of me. Oh, big check up ahead of me. This may give the outside an opportunity if we can get up there. There's one position going for two. Can we get two or three of them, man? We have the upper hand just barely down the back straight away. The racing is so tight. With this being such a short race, you don't really have the time to make the move to get to the front. We got 15 laps remaining next time by. But we know when we get the white flag, Flag, all bets are off and we're probably gonna get a major crash regardless it's crazy seeing these guys jump from top to bottom i know the bottom group does save your tires a lot more so it's smart to be down there whoa here we go boys we got one into the wall we may be three wide down the back straight away look out he's trying to merge back oh my goodness he's gonna merge back up right in front of everyone that nearly got big i had to bell out of the throttle some of these guys are looking dangerous here we come underneath car number four Almost there. Almost got my bumper in there. He's trying to not cut me an inch here. But we're finally going to get that pass done for position number nine. And he's going to roll over for me. Look out. We got one way off pace. He's one lap down. We got a lap score in front of him as well. Both the lap guards are running the outside. But that guy just popped the wall. I'm getting more comfortable as I continue. The car is really coming to me. We got another guy out of the groove up there. And you're going to see everyone duck and weave down the back straight away. Go around him. If we can get around this guy... Put it up a P8, boys, if we can just get around car number 24. He's going to really try to slam the door on me, and that's exactly what he's going to do. Now we're going to see Cole Trickle get pinned on the outside. Oh, three wide, back down to two wide. I may try the outside here. If nobody's going up there, man, I may try it. I really just want to get the track position, but unfortunately, you see it right there. The five just has nowhere to go. Put it up to position number eight as we're going to get around him going into turn number three and four. And we got another one stuck on the outside. The Bobby Labonte paint scheme, core number 16. I got to keep it tight to car number 24, and we're going to get around him and put it up a P7. He almost got the wall contact behind me. They're wrecking behind me. Devin, what are you doing, dude? You got to cut my nose off three times, dude. Get out the way. Just protecting the bottom, but if you want to run through me, that's fine. There's a difference between protecting a spot coming from the high side across somebody's nose to the bottom. So I don't know what to tell you, buddy. He 
are so freaking close to a top five, man. If I can get top five with an open setup, I'll be more than happy with that. I never run open. Always fix. The leaders are blocking up front. I'm now breaking that Daytona. With how fast we are coming here on entry, I got to slow this car down. Look at the 10. He's going to get stuck on the outside. He's going to try to get down. Out of bell out of the gas a little bit. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get up to the sixth position. My biggest thing is I think a lot of these leaders are going to start getting shuffled. They don't want to run single file to the end. They got to jump out. And when you jump out, that's when you get left out to dry. We come behind car number 10. Look into his inside right here. I think we're going to get there. Just can we complete the pass? I'm going to send it in very deep. Put it up a P6. He's going to give me a nice bump draft down the back straight. Away. Now we're seeing more guys go side by side. Somebody else is going to get shoved out of line. That's the Chick Hicks machine. If I can keep it tight, we're going to put it inside the top five. My grip is going away. I'm getting loose as we continue. I got to get close to the car in front of me. If we do that, we're going to put it inside the top five. Man, I am jabbing the brakes so heavy right now. I feel quick. We have ridiculous speed in this race car. About to put it inside the top five. Let's get the 58. A little bump draft here down the back straight away. If we can just get to him, man. No, if I help him, we're both going to get around the two. And we're both going to gain a position. But he's checking up so heavy. I had to jab the brakes right there. And he's going to let the two car in. Lap traffic ahead. The leaders are going went high not where they want to be but they're all going high oh here comes the 10 to my bottom he's trying to make the pass on the bottom group that means we're gonna be three wide through the trioval i'm getting tight man but we're all gonna hold it we're gonna drop a position you just know the leader is likely going to get turned the leader is sideways he just bobbled the 10 car just bobbled as well we're gonna get back around the 10 i do believe i told you the tire grip is going away man we're all loose but i'm still starting to struggle my hands are still full and we're still fighting with car number 10 he's gonna get back to my inside and get that pass completed let's try to come out of here with the top five there's gonna be five laps remaining at the line look out boys blocking up front and this is gonna shove him double file again back down a single file can we get back below car number 10 i think he's gonna block it look at the blocking going on up front the 10 sent it in super deep a clear me and that's exactly what he's gonna do hold your breath say a prayer we're going for a bumpy ride look out three wide down the back straight away don't block that man oh boy oh boy why did he block it they're gonna wreck they're gonna wreck though there they go car number two is going around don't come down don't come down don't come down i jab the brakes we're gonna get around him put it up a p6 now the leaders are up the hill the leaders are smoking the leaders are crashing it's chaos here at daytona the guy in front of me just smacked the wall now the green machine is going around he's gonna save it to the bottom of car number seven and car number ten trying to get on both here and put it up to position number four he's gonna pin me down a ton can we get back around him and put it up to the fourth position they are bump drafting on the outside i'm gonna get a little bit tight right here but we're gonna hold it contact behind me and we got it now can we get that draft i know they're gonna try to cross me over here but i'm trying to get that draft if i can the guy behind me is gonna give me a big bump draft we have found our way all the way up to fourth i can't believe it man three ago with the line we're going for third we are hustling this race car right now. A little sideways, but we're holding it, boys. Big shot to my rear bumper as he comes low. The last thing I want to do is wreck this car, but I got some aggressive drivers behind me. Unfortunately, we're going to get locked on the outside with three remaining. So we're going to drop a couple positions. But this fight is not over because they're going to get some big momentum on the leader. The leader's going to be a sitting duck up there. He has too big of a lead. Big kicks has been aggressive. That car has been beat on a little bit. He's drifting right now. Oh, my goodness. Well, Chick Hicks is done. Hey, what are you doing, Sasha? Yeah. I, exactly. Do I think you straight? What in the Soviet Union was that? That checkup may have lost me the draft for two laps remaining. But the good news is we're running in position number six. I have no pressure behind me. I can just avoid these crashes on the final lap. Look at that. Almost another crash ahead of me. This time by is going to be the white flag. One lap remaining. Let's duck and weave. Miss the crashes if they happen. But I don't know if they're going to be able to even get to the leader. The leader is gone right now. Everyone's struggling with tire wear. But regardless, off turn number four, we got one lap remaining with a lapped car ahead. That's going to play a factor. I don't know who's going to make it back around. I think they're going to get to the leader. They got there. They are there. This is what's going to happen here on the final lap. You see them jumping out. They're trying to get around the lap traffic ahead. The lap traffic is pulling over, being smart. We're going to go around the lap traffic pretty easily there. But my eyes are focused up ahead. They're side by side for the lead almost. It's going to get close coming off turn number four. Will there be any contact, man? He's trying the outside. He's trying to do it clean. But he may come up on him. I think somebody's going to get the wall. And they did get the wall. That was the second position. He just smacked it right there. And here we come. Checkered flag. Position 
number six. I'll take it, man. We survived. We held on to it. We didn't hit anyone all day. We have a perfectly clean core at the end of Daytona out of all places. Just on off number two, we're going to see the first big crash of the day. It was bump drafting gone wrong. We're going to see the three go around. That's going to pretty much block the track. Bunch of hard hits here. There's debris everywhere, man. We took out a good five, six, seven cars in that crash alone. Turn number four, the 24 car try to make the pass clean on the outside. They're side by side coming to the checkered i don't know if they came up no he just smashed the wall there he gave him plenty of room he just went for it man he was digging on the final now but before we end today's video i'd like to thank my patreon members who i go i racing with every friday night for the dlb tv racing league as well as my patreon tier 2 vip members christian elliott chtv dj suschema derek dorsey sanquiz gregory and tomaters for supporting the channel and i'll catch you guys in the next video